friends, I'm Jennifer All, and today's Daily Hope reading today comes from 1 Chronicles chapter 3, where the genealogy journey continues. Today, in this chapter, we get to see the royal line of David laid out for us, which is pretty cool because we get to see how the people of Israel are connected to the promises of God. And the author intentionally lays out the royal line here so that we can see that even through the exile, the royal line continues. And as those captives come back to the land that God promised them, that royal line continues. And what's really cool is when Matthew picks up this royal line at the beginning of the New Testament to show us how this royal line leads to the Messiah, to Jesus Christ. It's just this amazing, this genealogy, it just shows us how God is fulfilling all of those prophecies and promises that he has given us. But I know, okay, so these genealogy lists, they can be pretty rough. Um, I know a lot of people like to just skip over them and get back to the story. But God reminded me as I was studying today's chapter that he speaks through chapters like this. He speaks through these long lists of genealogies and through these names. Because a name is not just a name is it? I have a really good friend of mine. Years ago, she traveled to Europe with her grandpa to find the little village, the little town that her grandmother's family was from in Poland. And she had done years of back research and digging to try and locate family members. She just wanted a list of names. And it was there in that small town that she was able to find it, to find birth records and marriage certificates that gave her names, her family members, finally, names. And it was an incredibly powerful experience for her because a name is not just a name. A name represents a life. Each name tells a story of a person who lived, a person who has a fullness of, of an existence there. Each name of these genealogies, it's, it's a whole life there of a person who laughed, who cried, who, who made friends, who had dreams, a life that matters. And each one of those names is a marker that says someone was here and it did not go unnoticed. And yes, that name that you come across in that list may not be significant to you or to me because we don't know the full story behind that name, but God does. And honestly, I need to be reminded about that sometimes, that God really knows each one of these people that we read about, and he also really, really knows me. He knows me. He knows my story. My story that may seem small and not one for the history books, but it matters. I matter. You matter. You and I, we are not just another number or another face in the crowd to God. He really sees us. And he knows me by name and he knows you by name. I am reminded of Luke chapter 12, verse 7, where Jesus says that the sparrow, that little meek bird, is not forgotten by God. So you better believe that God has not forgotten or overlooked you. He knows every hair on your head because you are valuable to him. He knows you by name. He sees you, your story matters to him. So when I look at these long lists, I also look at the names that go before and the names that come after. And I'm reminded that I too am connected to so much more than just myself. I am a part of a larger story. I am a part of a legacy. My story is built upon other stories who are all built into this amazing story of God and his great love. So you know what, next time you feel lonely or forgotten or um, that you just don't know your place and you feel um, insignificant, flip open to these genealogies and be reminded 
that God sees you, that he knows your name and the great story of your life that your name represents because you matter to him. So spend a little time with him today.